Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. Uh, this is Bruce at Bookmap. A risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Uh, more information, go to bookmap.com. There is a free 14-day uh, trial. It comes with education. Uh, this uh, uh, We have this educational course. There's four parts to it. Uh, that goes through just uh, basic market mechanics, uh, and then it gets into um, the structure uh, and those basic market mechanics. Um, and then we start to look at opportunities within that structure. Uh, and then uh, we look at the, that's part three. Uh, so those are setups and uh, strategies. Uh, and then part four is more advanced um, uh, looking uh for confluence at some of those areas, okay. Uh, and uh, so let me uh, let me go to bookmap.com and uh, and show you a little bit uh, about it. Um, uh, the um, up here, okay. We'll start at the top of the page, and uh, and just scroll down. Uh, there is the intro video here. Um, some information about Bookmap. Uh, I'll update this link here for next week's free webinars. Uh, and uh, so that you'll have that. And uh, let me let me cover this here. Actually, it's part of the education. Um, the, there's one part one through four for the course, uh, but then in trial you also get access to the uh, live uh, market order flow advanced webinars, uh, and those start in uh, about a half hour. Uh, I gave you guys a link to it yesterday. I'll give you I'll give it to you today as well, uh, so that uh, you can um, uh, access today's webinar. Uh, but uh, usually this comes with the uh, the trial. Uh, so the idea here is you ask the um, uh, platform questions here, and then in the other webinar we we dive right into the the details of the order flow, and then you can ask questions about order flow there. Okay, so it's much more uh, engaging uh, on the order flow and trading side. Okay, this uh, webinar here is about the basics. Uh, and understanding some of the details of the platform. All right. So um, uh, someone yesterday asked a question uh, uh, in the uh, about, about the platform, and I and I said, well, please please ask. You know, uh, uh, respect the people in the uh, in the room and and ask it here during this webinar. Okay. So uh, that's uh, uh, the deal. Uh, you can uh, reach out to us at support at bookmap.com. Let's go back to that website. So I'll change this link here uh, shortly, and you'll have access to that. Uh, uh, and sign up for it uh, for next week's webinars. Okay, more information here on the website, uh, and then um, scroll down a little bit further. Uh, Bookmap can connect to uh, equities, so um, uh, you can uh, get Bookmap DX feed here, uh, and then a little bit further down, other ways to connect. Okay, so uh, this is this includes everything. Is this is the DX feed down here, and and that's to the Nasdaq. Oh, or uh, it's all U.S. equities, basically. Uh, but uh, Bookmap is a true platform, so we're just like uh, Ninja Trader uh, or TT uh, X Trader Pro or Interactive Brokers uh, Trader Workstation. These three are platforms as well, and we we connect via the API into those trading platforms. But we are a trading platform as well. So you know, if you power your Ninja with CQG or Rhythmic, well, you can power your Bookmap uh, equally. Uh, just like any other platform uh, using CQG or Rhythmic. All right. Good morning, Edson. Um, so uh, let's see. The um, that's uh, uh, these are the different ways to connect Bookmap. Let's take a look at the trial. Uh, the um, there's the basic, advanced, and uh, and quant. Uh, if you want to understand the differences between these three, uh, you can click here for the complete list and compare uh, in a chart. Uh, but um, Really, what's going on here is there's Bookmap Basic, uh, and then there's more advanced features, uh, and that's what comes with the advanced. Okay, so 49 per month for Bookmap Basic. It's billed quarterly, 99 per month for the advanced, and that also is billed quarterly. You get the 14-day trial, uh, and the difference between these two uh, are the uh, the add-ons here, these features. Okay, one is to be able to ch click uh, the one-click trading right from the chart. Uh, some of these other proprietary indicators that we developed um, are for understanding very specific things in the order flow. For example, a large lot tracker, we can identify larger players uh, in, the, uh, in the order book. Uh, and that's going to give us some insight to 
uh, how price might behave at those levels. Okay, there's some order book and volume and balance indicators. There's an iceberg detector. Okay? This, the way that this works here, uh, is um, uh, we read the uh, uh, the order book and we read the uh, the transactions that take place. Uh, and a lot of times there'll be more transactions that take place than what was in the order book. And that's not possible, but uh, it, it, you know, if you use a hidden order type or an iceberg, that's what happens. Uh, you know, trades take place uh, that are above and beyond what was in that limit order book. And we can identify those, uh, those larger players uh, using the, these, these uh, iceberg orders. And there's also a correlation tracker here. Okay, quants, uh, you can reach out to us uh, for more information. You'll have your specific needs for connecting to your own data and your own indicators, et cetera. All right, if you need a, a, a data feed, uh, we offer, uh, well, we don't offer, uh, we have a link here. Uh, you can click here and that'll take you to this page. And you can uh, uh, give a, a trial of these uh, four different uh, data feeds here, okay? All right, so uh, you can get your data um, and then you can connect Bookmap uh, both with uh, using a 14 day trial if you want. Okay, you can follow us here on social media, uh, on Twitter at Bookmap underscore pro, uh, and then uh, our YouTube page here as well. Uh, there's some intro videos you might wanna check out, features and components, and um, uh, these video uh, snippets here. Uh, order flow video snippets. These go through the order flow that we go through in detail in the advanced webinar. Okay, so let me give you that that link uh, to the advanced uh, webinar, and then let's uh, start to look at uh, book map here. Okay, just a moment. <laughs> okay, great. That link isn't working at the moment. You're kidding me. Oh. All right, then this is, uh, hold on just a moment, I'm sorry about this. Okay, all right, looks like I got it now. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna place this into the chat. There you go. So look there, you can click on that and you can register for the 11 o'clock uh, advanced order flow analysis webinar that comes with the, um, uh, with the trial or, or if you're a subscriber, okay? Um, so you get a taste for what that is like. Uh, let's see, Edson, you have a question. Uh, when you open a position, does the book map show the result in progress? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, uh, uh, let's uh, let's do that. Uh, I'll just uh, open a, a, a quick position here, and I'll demo this for you. Um, and um, let's uh, we'll go short uh, here. Okay, uh, you know I'm just um, just jumping in here. Okay, uh, with using the one-click trading here. All right, and um, uh, so um, uh, here's my position. Here's where I clicked. Okay, and uh, I am short. Uh, and um, We'll add another one up here before in front run this high liquidity here. So this this was a, a market sell, and then this is a limit sell up here. All right. So um, the um, uh, let's see. So you can see that the, when I when I clicked, this is where I clicked, right? Using this one click trading, uh, and uh, and and this is uh, how long my um, Bookmap is recording everything with your orders, which is it's fantastic because you can see where I clicked and uh, where my order is. Now, if I want to move this, you can just left click, hold and drag here to just to the left of the vertical white line. And now it's recording everything that I did here. See, note note how it, it records, um, uh, you know, I, that I moved it uh, and I can see all my actions here. Okay. And um, uh, or if I cancel it, etc. Uh, so, uh, if I, or if I move it back up here, you know, um, it, it's all it's all recorded here uh, in in Bookmap. 
And uh, yeah, if you want to see it in the in the chart, there's a a, a P and L uh, end position uh, down here. Okay, and uh, it's this is all recorded as well. All right, so uh, uh, really good stuff here. Uh, it's a good question, uh, but um, uh, you know, for example, uh, for your your trade management and and um, uh, also for debriefing, uh, it's uh, this is great to see uh, because. Uh, uh, this is where I entered. Uh, here's the zero line, okay? And you can see it moved immediately against me, uh, but uh, just uh, just starting to uh, uh, inch into profit here right now, okay? And um, so it can, you can see how much risk I had against me, uh, and uh, and then you can start to um, uh, uh, you know play play around with that, okay? It's a it's a great debriefing tool as well. Uh, to be able to use this uh, for your trading, uh, you can use this in replay mode as well, uh, and uh, and see exactly uh, you know uh, how you uh, uh, manage your position and why you took these positions. Yeah, I, I really like it, uh, especially if you have like a, a mentor or a coach, uh, and you want to uh, uh, share your trades or just with uh, other people, uh, and um, uh, learn from each other, etc., or just uh, debrief your own trading. It's, it's all, it, you can do it here, okay? All right, um, let's see the, uh, um, what else? Um, oh, okay, uh, yeah, there's uh, some bracketed orders and some OCO orders here uh, as well. So uh, you can also uh, uh, utilize that, uh, uh, that information. Um, and uh, let's let's place some OCO orders here. I'll cancel this one. Hey, I'll just uh, use my center mouse wheel and click on it, and I'll cancel that. And uh, I can place an OCO order. Okay, so so basically, uh, I am short down here at 66, right? And um, uh, let's uh, let's place some targets. So uh, I'll place my limit uh, uh, buy order down here. Okay, now this is going to be an OCO, so order cancels order. Uh, and uh, and then up here, I'm going to have um, my uh, uh, sell stop, okay, or I'm sorry, buy stop. So I'm going to hold down shift, and I'm going to left click, and then you can see the distinction in the in the line types here, okay. So this is my stop up here, and this is my my limit uh, uh, take profit down here, okay. All right, uh, and you can, uh, yeah, move those around, and uh, uh, let's see, uh, I'll just, uh, well, let's see if we get some price movement. I'll try to get stopped out here. There we go. Okay, so I just got stopped out up here, uh, and you can see that it, um, as soon as I got stopped out up here, um, it's, it's moving moving my direction. Um, the, uh, the other order over here canceled, okay? Uh, in fact, I can look at all of that trade data as well. Uh, if I show all of my orders here, okay, and uh, so this is this is a great debriefing tool, okay. So uh, this is where um, I originally um, placed my market buy. I clicked here or market sell, and I got filled here, uh, and then I, I placed another one up here, uh, and you can see my actions, uh, and then uh, I placed my OCOs up here. Then I moved it down, and it got filled, uh, and it canceled the other one here. All right. Okay, you want to look at some iceberg orders? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, so uh, let's turn on the uh, indicators. Okay. And uh, there's some icebergs down here. 26. 26 contracts. See, that would have given me some good insight uh, if uh, uh, I, um, I had that on. Uh, but uh, you can see that they're they're uh, uh, absorbing in these areas right here 20 23 26 uh, so uh, 71 okay uh, 15 uh, this is all on buy side so they're they're absorbing here with their uh, uh, iceberg orders uh, at these uh, at these levels uh, and they are they are positioning themselves long All right. So um, uh, yeah, based based on that, based on the um, uh, 
the, the movement up here and, and a nice little breakout here to the uh, the upside here. I'm actually, uh, I'm glad you brought up the icebergs because uh, based on the, what we see here in the chart, I'm looking for an extension to the upside. Okay, uh, we, we just broke above the little swing here. So uh, we may, may get a little pullback to right around here where we are right now. Okay, and let's see those, uh, let's see those buyers step in here. Okay. Okay, let's turn our CVD back on. All right. Okay. Anyway, let me. I'll get to your any more questions about the uh, the iceberg orders here uh, in a minute. But let me go through the basics uh, because we do have some new traders in here, uh, and um, uh, I just want to uh, uh, show you what Bookmap is displaying here. Okay. So that uh, you um, have a uh, uh, a good understanding of uh, what this, what all this is here, uh, because uh, uh, it's a, a pretty unique uh, uh, software um, platform that visualizes all of this data in a in a in a really uh, uh, nice, uh, insightful way here. So, what is it? What are we looking at here? I mean, uh, you, you saw me moving around orders, etc. Uh, in the, within this heat map, uh, and uh, so what is the heat map? This is um, a, a recording of the limit order book, okay? So we're looking here at the limit order book. Look up here at uh, 63.75, we see very high liquidity, okay? 159 contracts, 66 contracts, 77 contracts, okay? So um, uh, it's bright white up in this area here, and it's being recorded, okay, over time. So when you see these numbers change here, uh, you'll see the change happen in the, uh, um, the heat map, uh, and then that is recorded and then transposed onto the chart. So these areas here is the adding and pulling of liquidity. Okay, here at uh, 72 and a half, uh, this is where it gets darker, they pulled liquidity, where it gets brighter, they added it back in. And that's all it is. So there's basically three components to this chart. And let me let me hide my uh, all of the orders here so it doesn't confuse. Uh, and let's, let's, we're going to take off the indicators for now. Uh, Edson, you can ask me later uh, if you like. Uh, but um, uh, let's uh, just take a look here at the um, uh, at the three components that Bookmap is displaying. It's very simple data. Uh, it is historical best bid and offer, uh, the volume that traded on that historical best bid and offer, uh, and uh, and then a heat map that I just described. Okay, so, or the um, the uh, historical limit order book. The current limit order book is here. The historical one is here on the chart. Okay, that's it. There's only three elements here being displayed. Okay, so uh, let's uh, start off one by one and um, and, and go through uh, all of these elements. Okay, and uh, I want to show the candlestick chart here because uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, obscurity here um, in this candlestick chart. We, we really, you know, we, we've been looking at candlestick charts for years, uh, but uh, it's not giving us much insight uh, at all. Uh, there's all sorts of, uh, right off the bat, I mean, you know, this is a five minute period, open high, low close of a five minute period, okay? But there's all sorts of little microstructural areas within here uh, that uh, we want insight to. Okay, and we're not seeing it because it's aggregated within five minutes. So all of this data here is 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 aggregated, uh, and um, uh, we we lose uh, all sorts of details. Okay, uh, another one is the volume. Okay, where did the volume trade? This is really really important uh, to understand uh, where the larger players uh, are positioning themselves, or the the large um, uh, transactions are taking place. Uh, when and and where and also in relation to that microstructure. Okay, so let's turn on the best bid and offer, and uh, now we're starting to see the microstructure. Okay, uh, it's a really simple thing, but it's uh, really insightful. All right, so uh, for example, uh, looking at uh, this little area up here, uh, we this you can see this candle here. We broke to the uh, to the high. Right, and a uh, nice little uh, flurry of activity we're going to see up here, but then it broke really hard. OK, 
Okay, so you're going to see a lot of selling uh, here, right? And we return back to where we broke from right here, right? And we just returned again there uh, uh, just a, a couple minutes ago, right? Uh, and um, uh, and then uh, we we actually uh, I was looking for based on those icebergs I was looking for a continuation. We still may get it uh, here, but uh, um, we're back down into the the range here at the moment, right? Anyway. The um, uh, this microstructure here we don't see in the candle, right? So uh, that's what uh, uh, Bookmap can uh, uh, help you with uh, is to understand the details here. But then let's turn on the volume and we'll really get a feel for what's going on. Okay, here's that aggressive selling driving that price lower. Here's that flurry of activity up here, uh, and um, uh, and then you can see the uh, the retest up here. Right, right back to where we broke from here, uh, and it does not uh, extend further, uh, and uh, and basically rotate back down into the range here. All right. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, so that's the traded uh, volume here with the dots. Uh, let me show you exactly what comprises these dots if I zoom in. And uh, so this is that. You know, really, really simple data. Uh, historical best bid and offer. Offer is red. Uh, the bid is green. And uh, in these dots here are the volume that transacted on the best bid or offer. Okay. So what we're what we're displaying here in terms of volume uh, is the aggressor. Okay. So a, a dot here that is red is an aggressive market sell order. Someone hit the market sell button. They uh, they took liquidity off of the best bid, okay? They paid up the spread here, uh, and um, they took liquidity who was providing it uh, on the bid here, uh, and uh, the transaction is recorded here in Bookmap. Now I'm going to zoom into this little dot here, and I'm going to show you that uh, uh, the details uh, of that transaction it wasn't one transaction; it was actually several. Okay, so we're down at uh, uh, microsecond level here. And we can continue on to, to nanosecond level, okay? But uh, we don't need to look at billions of seconds. But what we need to understand here is how Bookmap is displaying every single uh, event uh, in the market that took place. And as I zoom out now, note that we are uh, just going to graphically and visually consolidate all of that trade action into a bigger dot. Okay, and uh, I'll continue on, and it'll be a bigger dot yet. Okay, so if I and I continue to zoom out, and finally you can see that this is this is a, a dot here. So many transactions took place down here that uh, the dot shows a, a pie display that there's some buying, um, but mostly selling down here. Okay, so that's what the pie display shows. If you want the exact numbers, you can hover over using this data tip tool, uh, and it gives you the date the time, what was on the bid here, and then the volume that traded, okay? And if you want the details, you can get that too. Just zoom in, break apart all those, all that trading activity, okay? And then you can hover over each, each transaction or each dot here, okay? So this looks like it was one trade for volume of 16. All right, okay, so that's the volume. Uh, and then uh, finally, let's get to the, uh, the heat map here. Okay, and let's zoom out. Okay, and we can take the candlestick chart off. All right, and um, so that's all we're showing, those two elements here, the traded volume, uh, exactly where, when, uh, and how much, and what type. And uh, uh, even on a footprint chart, if you guys are accessing a footprint chart, you're not going to see uh, the details here that you can see in Bookmap. The reason being is that footprint chart, uh, although I, you know I, I really like footprint charts, they don't they don't give you the microstructure though. Uh, it's still aggregated within a bar. So some of this some of this um, uh, uh, price action and, and um, you know structure is going back and forth. Where you're just going to see it aggregate within one big bar. Uh, and you're not going to get a real good feel for exactly how price is behaving within the microstructure. Understanding the microstructure leads to understanding the uh, uh, bigger move in the macrostructure. 
All right. Okay. Um, let's see a couple of questions here. Um, well, let me uh, let me just go through the heat map quickly, uh, and then um, uh, then we'll uh, I'll get to your questions, Edson. Okay. So the heat map now. Let's turn that on. Okay. And I'm going to turn the indicators on too. Okay. So we've got the the volume and we've got the historical best bid and offer. Now we have the historical auction. Okay. So the current auction is over here, the current order book. All right. The COB column. This is your dome in book map. Uh, best bid and offer here. This is my um, liquidity here on the offer, my liquidity here on the bid. And uh, it's the same in this window here. Okay. Uh, this is the best bid and offer and the last traded volume. Uh, and then note uh, the heat map here is the reflection, a graphical reflection of the numeric values here in the limit order book. So when these numbers change, the heat map changes. And then that's recorded and transposed onto the chart. What this allows you to do is not only access the current uh, order book, but the historical one too. So as I zoom out, I get an understanding of where the buyers and sellers are and how they behaved in these areas. Okay, so that's the third element that we're showing here uh, on the chart, and that's basically it. Okay, and we can, uh, uh, you know, adjust that heat map uh, to look at uh, just larger size liquidity uh, and uh, and simplify it if that uh, helps you as a trader. All right, Edson, your your questions here. Um, the heat map takes into account quantities of the book of offers and proportional way S&P supply and demand. Okay, the way the heat map uh, works uh, is um, it's it's ca is calculating it um, based on the the uh, the zoom here. So within this range and the current book as well, right? Now, if someone jumps in here with let's say three thousand contracts, okay, that'll be bright white. Everything else is going to be in relationship to those three thousand contracts. Well, let's say three hundred for the for the Nasdaq. Um, and um, uh, that's uh, that's the way that it works. So this is all historical. It doesn't. It can't. You can't change it. But the heat map will change if you zoom in and out of those areas. Okay. So it's a. Uh, it's it's in reference to starting at the top uh, and then uh, and then working its way down. All right. Does that answer your question, uh, Edson? Okay. Um, all right. Well, let's uh, let's wrap it up. Uh, you guys have the link to the um, advanced order flow webinar that starts uh, in just a minute here. So uh, let me give it to you again. If you arrived a little bit later, there you go. Forty-one out of five thousand. Okay. Not not sure what you mean there, uh, Edson, but, uh, um, anyway, yeah, let me know. You can always follow up with me, uh, Bruce at bookmap.com. Uh, if you, uh, if you want to, uh, uh, you know, further this conversation or we can, you can, you can also uh, ask in the, uh, in the next webinar. Okay. All right. We'll see you there.